<laughs> Don't worry, my love. He's not gonna get away with this. What's going on, everybody? I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I'm back once again with some news about the Duke and Duchess of Netflix, Prince Harry, and Meghan Markle. As their uh, rating in the U.S. plummets due to the South Park episode. Now, I don't know how true this actually is. I know the reputation is in the toilet. Uh, and maybe South Park contributed this a little bit, but honestly, I don't think the... I think the South Park roast was pretty tame, and I also don't think that anyone who already likes them is going to be swayed by South Park, and for all the people who don't, I don't think their really opinion's ever going to recover, or the reputation's going to recover, or they could really sink any lower. I think the couple's done a really good job of that themselves with the, the Netflix documentary, all the litigation they've been involved in, of the constant victim tour, as was highlighted in South Park with their worldwide privacy tour. And the release of uh, Prince Harry book, uh, Wham, I mean, Spare. But let's get into the article here because, you know, uh, if anything, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, they love their reputation and they want nothing more to be able to control the narrative that they are, you know, the millionaire world traveling princely and princessly victims. I mean, you've heard the term being born with a silver spoon. These people, well, at least Prince Harry was born with a platinum spoon with a diamond encrusted handle. But you can't control public opinion, unfortunately so. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's approval rating in the U.S. took a drastic tumble following a South Park episode that mercilessly mocked the couple. And I wouldn't say mercilessly mocked. I actually think uh, Trey Parker and Matt Stone were actually pretty tame. Uh, they, they definitely could have gone in on them a lot more. So I think the couple's actually lucky to get out uh, with just the privacy jokes, really. Uh, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex decision to move across the pond in a desperate bid for privacy was highlighted in the show's latest episode, Worldwide Privacy Tour. And as a result, their ratings plummeted way below Prince Andrews, according to a new survey conducted by market research film Redfield and Wilton for Newsweek. See, now that, that's pretty astonishing, actually. Um, I don't want to get into the whole Prince Andrew thing. I don't know that much about it, but, and I don't even know if I can talk about what he did um, on here without being demonetized, but if anyone's a little familiar with the royal family, uh, you know Prince Andrew's in some hot water for uh, having, doing some things or associating with some people that are, uh, you know, of either an hero or uh, are in prison for, you know, uh, let's just say uh, violations of the Man Act. I guess that might work, right? I, I'm sure I can say that. But the thing about Prince Andrew, and I definitely think, uh, as much as I dislike Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, he should definitely have a lower approval rating. I mean, they're, they're annoying to the point of being criminal, but he's actually a criminal. So the only thing I can really think of is that he isn't constantly in the news talking about what he did, and he's kind of just slunked off into the shadows. And that's probably what this couple should do, but I highly, highly doubt that's going to happen. The poll said that Harry's overall U.S. approval rating took a hit by three points to minus 10 since the South Park episode aired. His wife's rating now sits at negative 17. The new figures show a drastic shift in popularity as in December 2021, Harry's rating was up 48 points and Markle's was up 40 compared to now. Well, that was before Netflix and that was before his book, so uh, South Park might have contributed to it, though. It also means the majority of Americans prefer Harry's scandal-scarred uncle, Prince Andrew, to the Sussexes. Andrew's approval rating sits at negative two, as the poll found that 26% said they liked the Duke of York, while 28% said they disliked him, which, that's, that's just astounding. It really is. Uh, the remaining votes were listed as indifferent or don't know. The Sussexes have sensationally stepped down as senior members of the royal family in 2021, a decision that was followed by a permanent move to the U.S. and several high publicity projects such as Netflix stock and Harry's memoir, Spare. For his part, Andrew's popularity took a tumble around the, the, around the time his late mother, Queen Elizabeth II, famously stripped him of his royal and military honors, which he should have. Uh, Andrew was barred from Royal Highness moniker following his association with uh, Epstein, also lost his patronage last year. 
And again, he, he uh, Prince Andrew has to live out his life as a disgraced royal who can probably never really be involved in public life ever again because the stain of that association is never going to go away, nor should it. Uh, but I think what really gets people about Harry and Meghan, or maybe this is just me, is that they have such a unique opportunity and they could be such a force for good in the world and you could do go and do whatever you want you could help out any charity you could launch any project but the only thing it really seems like you're capable of doing is bashing your family and whining about how hard your life has been when i can't see many brits or americans or anyone in the commonwealth or really the whole world over is really going to care and you know the and the couples also you know grifters and liars and the oprah interview uh made claims about a racist royal family which they debunked then like two years later yet then they go to that kennedy award and accept an award for fighting racism that never actually happened and it's like if you could do anything and you have the money to and you have the power to the privilege of and you have the name recognition i mean you could just go and write a book about something even if it was like you know somewhat crappy people would buy it Maybe not everyone's going to love it, but you, you could instantly do anything you want to do. It's, it's just so odd to me that their whole choice of, you know, a project is, well, I'm just going to whine about how our lives have been very hard, which um, ever, everyone's life is hard to some extent, but comparatively to the point of every other, uh, let's say, uh, peon or, you know, normal person, nobody's gonna care like you you people would kill for the opportunities you had and even if they couldn't do something amazing with it they could ride off into the sunset and they're well, i think they have a 16 bathroom mansion or something and it's like uh, that that's got to be tough too it's like which which toilet do i use you got to make sure all those pipes go you know you don't want them to i, I don't know let's keep going here uh let's see the retraction of Andrew's royal labels uh, essay filed by Virginia Guffrey. Andrew's lawyer say unequivocally denies allegations. Of course, he's going to. Uh, the source claimed that the disgraced 62 year old is very interested in business and charity, but unlike his nephew, he will not be exploring Netflix style projects as he looks to forge a new career. I don't think that's going to happen for him. Let's look at some of the comments down here. I've not watched South Park's in year. I may have to watch this one. I hope South Park does a follow-up where Harry and Meghan are watching their episode on TV. And if they um, do go through with trying to sue South Park, which I think that's pretty much been debunked, I don't think they have any grounds to stand on. But uh, I'm sure if they go down that road, they will find themselves being recurring characters. And that might be exactly what the couple wants. You know, they, they, they love the limelight. They love the attention. Uh, Bahaha, fantastic. They brought this on themselves. While Harry spends much more time talking about his mother, was exploited by the media, he is just as guilty of it. I would say that's absolutely true. His mother used the media to her advantage. She was a little more tactful about it, and she did say some not so nice things about Charles. You know, they had a tumultuous marriage that was kind of loveless, so people do feel bad for her in that, but. She did also use the media to her advantage. She was very good at that, where Harry is definitely trying that, but can't seem to drum up any sort of the sympathy that Diana could. But anyway, that's the article. That's the follow-up. You know, I thought it's interesting. I really do hope South Park makes another episode about Harry and Meghan, because uh, I thought it was hilarious. I think they definitely could have went in a little more, and I'm sure if they pursue legal action, they will go in more. But that's all I got for you right now. Uh, if you like what I said... Please like the video, subscribe to this channel for more content like this. If you didn't like what I'm saying, well, I apologize then, but thank you for listening this long, and I will catch you all in the next one. Later.